The Union Budget 2023 also happens to be the last full budget for Modi 2.0 government has augured well for the mobility or automotive industry though there are no direct benefit being offered to this industry but the many announcement that is going to spur demand and accelerate the production of green mobility and other uh, ecosystem in the mobility industry the first thing first the government has increased the threshold for taxation in terms of personal tax uh, now people earning up to 700,000 rupees will not be required to pay any tax. That is going to spur the demand for two wheelers and entry level car. Then there are a lot of allocations for rural market, which will trigger the demand for tractor and the investment in the capital goods area is going to increase the demand for commercial vehicles and last mile thrust on last mile connectivity and first mile connectivity is going to increase the demand for lcvs especially for the electric lcvs A hoping outlay of 55,000 crore for transition to green mobility or for the target net zero and 19,700 crore for hydrogen is further going to aid the green mobility uh, ecosystem in the country. It is going to spur the demand and also going to spur the manufacturing of electric vehicle as the government has reduced custom duty on the tools and machinery being used for production of lithium ion batteries. The government has also reduced the custom duty on lithium mild sales import and also extended the subsidy being offered on import of EV batteries. These are some of the important announcement that is going to be booster for EV ecosystem in India. Long awaited scrappage policy has also got a bit of booster though uh, in a limited form as the government has announced that now all the old and polluting government vehicles are going to be replaced which are in number about 150,000 units that will spur replacement demand for passenger cars. An impressive outlay on uh, uh, in terms of infrastructure and railways is also going to enhance the economic activity and that will uh, set the economy rolling and that will in return create a better market demand. That these are some of the core advantage or positive that I see for the automotive industry. There are some uh, expectations that the industry had, like if you talk about ACMA, uh, they were expecting that there should be some uh, GST uh, rationalization. By that means they wanted that the one blanket GST rate of 18% should be levied on all kind of auto component, which is not the case right now that create confusion. That was not announced in this budget. The other thing that uh, R&D, the, uh, there was a weighted deduction on R&D that has been been uh, not announced again it has not been uh, resumed it was uh, uh, revoked a couple of years ago that the industry was looking forward to that has not been announced in this budget the other negative that is emboldened in the budget uh, 2023 is that the import duty on rubber which used to be 10 percent has been increased to rupees 25 to 30 percent which comes to about uh, almost 20 percent because current rate if you talk about today the rubber price is at about 100 rupees per kg so that is another negative that we see uh, for the luxury car segment there uh, it is there is no good news rather there is a negative that has come up the budget has announced that the uh, import duty on cbus completely built unit uh, like that those are mainly luxury cars are going to increase from 60 percent to 70 percent and also skds which means semi knockdown units uh, uh, which comes as a kit to country and they uh, assemble it and sell it in the market that is also mainly for the luxury car segment has also been increased from 33 percent to 35 percent so this is one major negative for the luxury car uh, industry 
other negative that the mobility industry could see is in terms of hybrid vehicles which continue to attract uh, higher GST as as much as the ICE vehicle, though it is considered environment friendly vehicles, but there has not been any announcement in the budget to reduce GST on hybrid. So this is another negative that I see. If you talk about, let me end with positive also, because uh, the small auto component makers, which were suffering the most, has got a bit of relief as there are some fun for MSME segment that is going to help them. Otherwise, if you talk about the future mobility, the thrust on AI, the technology, mechatronics and all these is going to really help build India a robust hub for manufacturing of future mobility products. So that's all in the budget 2023.